Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to get Fergie's Fate Core for free. And also, we're going to discuss FC Nika's banner and my first impressions of her kit. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, we'll start off with the 7 days of pre gifts prepared by the New Year celebration Leafy. So this gift started today, January 7 up until January 28th. So don't uh, don't worry if you missed the first day or you're going to miss the first day. You'll have every chance to finish the 7 days of gifts. So just log in every day, then claim the following rewards. So you have event reward day 1 200 zes Day 2, 300,000 gold. Day 3, 70 books of experience. Day 4, 50 die coupons. Day 5, national recruit ticket. Day 6, it's 500 zes. And day 7, people have been waiting for this and looking for this, especially me. So, Hero Fergie plus a Happy New Year Fate Core, which she is in her traditional... I think this is a, this is a Korean costume. So, you'll be getting this... Um, but you have to log in for seven days so you have time to catch up so the event just started so just log on starting tomorrow probably later after this video and you'll get uh your 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 fc fergie costume after seven seven consecutive days i think if you miss a day it it won't matter as long as you log in for seven days so you can actually find Leafy in the town here on your uh, lower most right. So she's there. I actually claimed mine already. So she'll approach you with the gift icon. You just have to click it for seven days to get your free Fergie on the seventh day. It's the Fate Court chance increase for Violet Sound Nika. So I'll, I'll tell you my first impressions of this... Uh, this uh, fate core that just launched so after the maintenance so it will continue up to january 14th so i think she dropped just today so she will come with a hero plus a fate core with a higher probability to get um not a fan of uh, not a fan of her new character or fate core design so let's move on she'll be getting stats additional stats from her fate core uh very big uh, uh combat power increase of 16,200, and also a very big health increase at 389 and little attack and defense increase as well so if we if we go through her fate core um especially her passive it's the same one for the first part which is thrust to the effect but the new one is below called little star so special at the beginning of, of a round reduces receive damage by 10 percent for each living ally except the caster so reduces up to 40 percent at first glance this is a good ability um let's check out first her her, her two skills so the two skills actually are just your basic skills nothing special for sound bomb requirement is two mana so deals 180 percent damage to one enemy so afflicts shock for four turns and s2 is gatling music deals 255 percent damage to all enemies again nothing special so my point is if this is your passive um if i would be the enemy on the other side what will make what will make me take you out first because because based on her passive you have to take out number one the others first and for you to leave nika alone um she doesn't really pose a big threat so basically you leave her alone for you to sorry to give her attention she has to pose a big threat other than these two skills that she has so with this scenario if you encounter nika on the battlefield you don't immediately immediately deal with her because she doesn't post that much of a threat with these two new skills or these two old skills you'll take take the other you're, you'll take on the other heroes first because anyway as you kill off the other heroes 
her damage reduction also decreases when she when one one dies you're down to 30 when two dies you're down to 20 percent damage reduction when three dies you're down to what 10 percent damage reduction and when all dies she doesn't get any more damage reduction so my point is this fate core is not it's not really that impressive it's very under underwhelming because they didn't even give her enough firepower to give you know to give people attention to her for her to be taken out early so for me this fate core is not you know it, it's not a must summon as much as possible don't summon on this fate core um save your says for the gold fate cores that will be coming out um let's take a look at at this um this uh what they call this this series of fate cores for synergy 2 if the gold fate core here is good and if it if it deserves a summoning for it but for this one the the black one i don't think this is worth your zest this is just uh some uh a fate core that you you would uh, would you would be happy if you just got it randomly but to summon for it here it's not really a big you know a big plus for you and it won't make really a big impact on your account so for nika it's the same it's 0.7 percent chance to get her uh and 19 19 core mileages for you to pity her so again don't summon for nika also do not summon for her exclusive weapon again i've made it clear in my previous um videos do not summon for this this is actually just just to bait you into spending your cess here because um this won't make a big difference at all so, and, and it's also a zero percent zero point seven chance of getting so it, you will have to spend a lot of cess just getting this weapon with a little impact on on the character itself so anyway guys um that is my reaction or first impressions on nika so please put down in the comments below if you're going to summon for her if you're going to try to at least get one for her banner but for me i don't think i'll, I'll try even one also please join our discord the link is in, in the description below and guys also please try and help my channel support subscribe push that subscribe button um your subscription really helps a lot in my channel also you always take uh, you always take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out